Happy Earth Day! It's Will. And James. We obviously love to travel, and to help keep the Earth beautiful, we are always looking for ways to make our trips more eco-friendly. Which is why we're going to share with you our top five tips on how to make travel more sustainable. Number one, reduce plastic use. There are a ton of easy switches that you can make throughout your trip that will reduce the amount of plastics that you use, keeping them out of landfills and oceans. One being a reusable water bottle. These are perfect because you can bring them on the plane. All you have to do is dump out any excess liquid before going through security, and then bam, you have a reusable water bottle throughout your trip. Toiletries consume a lot of plastic, so you can make the switch to recyclable and sustainable products like bite toothpaste and a bamboo toothbrush, reusable razor blades for your razor, and bar shampoo and soap. We all love to eat, and usually when you go and buy a meal, they come with plastic cutlery. So make the switch and buy a bamboo set of cutlery that you can take with you and use over and over. Number two, shop local. Before we travel to a new destination, we like to research farmer's markets and farm-to-table restaurants because it's a great way to support the local community. One of my favorite memories was when we visited Sonia's Garden in Tagatai, Philippines. We were able to pick our produce that made dinner later that evening. <laughs> you almost break the end. Harvesting eggplant for yeah. dinner tonight. Yes. <laughs> when you shop local, you're able to try new things and it can reduce the amount of plastic associated with processed foods and fast foods that you might have bought. Number three, sustainable fashion. When you go on a trip, you want to look cute and you may buy a ton of new outfits, but don't be fooled by fast fashion. This includes clothes that are made with cheap and non-recyclable fibers or those that take a ton of water to produce. Usually these items don't last very long and end up in a trash after a few months or years. Instead, search for fashion brands that are either carbon neutral or certified B corporation. Sustainable fashion is out there. You just might have to do some research before making your next purchase. Number four, volunteering. Before going to any destination, you can look up different organizations that are local to the community and try and see if you can volunteer while you're on your trip. Definitely be sure that you're helping them and not hindering their organization when you're volunteering. When we were in the Cook Islands, we volunteered with the SPCA of the Cook Islands and walked dogs, which was a really fun experience because we love dogs and got to support the local community. Our dog's name Salt and Pepper. I have salt and James has pepper. And last but not least, number five, transportation. Tourism accounts for about 8% of all carbon emissions, and when you're traveling, you want to make sure that you're reducing your carbon footprint. Most cities now have bicycles or electric scooters that you can rent, which are emission-free. Most ride-sharing apps also now have features where you can select eco-friendly cars to ride and Lyfts or Uber, and you can offset your carbon emissions by buying carbon offsets. Which I didn't know what that meant, so Will, can you explain it for those who are like, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, if you buy a carbon offset, it just means you're putting money, about the same amount of money that you would be for your carbon footprint from a train, from a plane, from a car, into a project that directly removes carbon from the air. So it's positive for nature and for people. One of the ways that we reduce our carbon footprint from our travel is by working with an organization called One Tree Planet, where they plant trees for reforestation all across the world. Travel is important to us, but we don't want to leave a massive negative carbon footprint. So these are a few of the steps you can take to reduce your carbon footprint when you travel. We are always looking for more tips on how to be sustainable in our travels and would love to know what you're doing in your daily life to be eco-friendly. Leave a comment and let us know.